Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you save me, until you set me free. Good afternoon, my loves. I hope you're all really, really well. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today it's it's not any old day. Today is Valentine's Day, which to be honest, I didn't really plan on filming today because I didn't really think we would be up to much. I'm under the impression we didn't really have any plans, probably thought that we were just gonna have a nice chilled day like any other Sunday. And then yesterday about a million and one Amazon parcels got delivered and I was like, why so many shady Amazon deliveries? And Jamie then informed me that he has planned a cute little evening for us and he said that I might want to film it. So here I am. I'm feeling very excited. I just thought it would be so nice so you guys can almost enjoy the surprise with me. I am just as in the dark as you. I have no idea what he's going to be up to um, this afternoon. He was kind of a little bit gutted that the weather looked quite gloomy today um, and he said most of it's outside so... I'm excited to see what it is. So yeah, I was planning on looking like the human sloth today, as I normally would on a Sunday, but as it's a special occasion, I thought I'm gonna make a little bit of effort. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on because it's only Valentine's Day once a year. So I had actually planned to vlog a little bit later on this week. I was actually gonna vlog on Thursday. I was gonna do a big deep clean with you guys because you really enjoyed my last vlog where I did like a cleaning section. And there are so many little things in the house that I need to do, like a lot of candle soot on the walls. How does that even happen? So I found some hacks online to remove like candle soot and like little stains on the carpet and stuff. I feel like I just want to have a really big deep clean. I'm planning on doing that tomorrow now so this vlog will be like today and tomorrow which I thought would be nice. I haven't done like a days with me vlog in the longest time. For my hair I am going to do a hairstyle that so many of you have been asking about recently. That is my big like bouncy blow dry curls. I thought I could do a little mini get ready with me today and show you some new bits that I've been using. I've got loads of like new makeup bits that I'm really loving and hair bit. He's making me feel lazy this morning because he has just gone out on a run. I'm in such like a weird place with fitness at the moment. I mean, I've never been the most sporty person. Like I just, I never really enjoy exercise like I feel like I should, I guess. Um, I went through a stage of my life where I like loved the gym and went all the time, had a PT and I felt good for it. In the back of my mind all the time, I know that I should be doing some kind of exercise and I know that I'll feel good for it, but I just can't motivate myself. Like I physically just can't, I just can't do it. We went for a run not long ago and <laughs> I was so hyped for it. I was like, yes, new year, new me. I am gonna take up running. I'm gonna go every single morning. We went once and I just spent the entire time hating it so bad. I was literally like, I wanna go home. I was such a baby. And then we got back and yeah, I just told myself that I just couldn't put myself through that again. Is anyone else like that with exercise? Cause I feel like I'm super alone with that sometimes. I think maybe I just need to get back into a routine with it. I say that about everything, but when I am in a routine, I just, you don't really think about it, do you? You just do it and then you feel good for it. But at the moment I've built this whole hatred towards it that I'm like, exercise is the devil and I'm not doing it. So my loves, I'm just gonna pop in my extensions. Whenever I do like a big curly hair look, I like to have extensions in just so I've got loads and loads of hair and I find you can get so much more volume as well. So as always, I am using the Foxy Locks Clip-In Hair Extension. These are the 20 inch ones. I decided to go for a little bit shorter. And when these are in my hair, they're only slightly longer than my natural hair and I find they blend so nicely. So these are in the shade Iced Latte and this is the colour that they are straight out of the box. So I haven't toned these at all. I used to get Platinum Blonde and I used to have to tone them with purple shampoo because they came out quite yellow. So if you do have quite ashy hair, 
these will be perfect for you as you can see they're kind of highlighted so they're not like a solid color which i really really like because i find my hair isn't a solid color um it's kind of got lots of different tones of blonde through it voxilox have got so so many different shades not only for blonde hair but they've just got such a huge range of all different shades and also i am going to be using today the new Foxylox curler which is incredible looks like this the barrel is so thick so it just creates beautiful blow dry curls also comes with six of these clips as well which are really 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 handy just to kind of like section your hair or i use these at the front of my hair to keep the curls in so i'm just going to pop these on to the highest temperature that they go that's 220. i always find the hotter the curler the better the curl hello back from his run how was it? Hard. <laughs> Did you do the whole lake? Yeah. That was quick. How long? I don't know, but it was quick. <laughs> Here he is. The wanderer returns. Do you feel good for it? Not yet. <laughs> oh. Jeez. That was hard. I don't envy you. That's all of the extensions in. It makes your hair look so, so much thicker. Obviously it looks a little bit weird at the moment because my natural hair is straight, but my extensions are still quite curly from when I last curled them. Another amazing thing about this curler is it keeps your hair curly in between hair washes. Um, last time I used this, my hair stayed like styled obviously the curls drop but it stayed curly for about four days which is amazing i used to actually curl my hair with my extensions out so i'd curl them separate but i found it's actually so much easier to do it when they're already in because then i feel like you mix your natural hair with the extensions and i find that just it just looks better so i start by sectioning my hair and then now i would recommend looking like mj and using the glove because i did it the other day without a glove and burnt my hands about a million times so which hand do i need this on this one <laughs> i'm gonna hold the curler down like this it's quite fiddly when you first start doing it because i never usually used to curl my hair like this i used to almost like wrap my hair around the curler if that makes any sense like you feel a bit feels a bit uncomfortable when you first start doing it like this but the curls look so much better like this than how I used to do them. Again, the curlier you want your hair, the longer you need to hold it for. Ta-da! And then when this is brushed out, it looks so nice. always 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 do this away from my face I find it's just so much more flattering so I try and get the closest I possibly can to the root without burning my forehead off so like twist it because I find this gives the front of your hair like loads and loads of volume and then with the front bits of my hair I like to clip because I like to keep them as curly as I possibly can so with these bits it's actually quite fiddly I usually mess it up I'll be honest so I like to catch oh Christ I bunch it like this and then I take one of the Foxy Lux clips and I just clip it like that depending on obviously how thick your hair is that took me about 15 minutes and my hair is obviously really really thick with the extensions in also another thing 
where's it gone that comes with the new curler is one of these which is such a lifesaver i am forever like balancing anything hot on my dressing table and it always falls off and this is just great because you can pop it in here it's completely heat proof and you can just pop it on the floor and wait for it to cool down so i'm just going to give my hair a really really light hairspray before i brush it out because i find if you pop a little bit of hairspray on whilst you do your makeup then when you do brush it out it has the brushed out effect but still looks really really curly and you don't lose all of the curl that you've just done this smells amazing by the way this is the moroccan oil luminous hairspray my loves i'll leave a link to the extensions that i used today and also the new foxy locks curler and also as well i've got this foxy locks brush which i've got a lot of hair in at the moment but this is perfect for brushing out curls. So I'm going to be using that as well when I brush them out. But yeah, you guys know I work with Foxy Locks every single month. So thank you to Foxy Locks for sponsoring this part of the video. Before makeup today, I'm not going to do too much. Every time I say that I end up doing like a full face. <laughs> but I've got a few new products that are just like super natural and nice. Just to kind of make you feel a little bit more put together. But not have that feeling of lots of makeup on your face. So, first of all, I'm going to use the Elemis Superfood Mist. This is so nice to just wake your skin up and prep it for makeup. And then, a new absolute favourite product is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I actually worked with Look Fantastic for a video for their channel, which is now live, so if you would like to go and watch that, I'll link it down below. But I did like an early Valentine's Day makeup look, and I wanted just like a really flawless but natural base, so I tried this out. I got this in shade 3W1 Bisque, and it's beautiful. It'll be so nice for when the weather's a little bit warmer and you don't want anything too heavy on your skin. And I'm going to buff it out with this new brush that I've got, which is amazing. This is one of my new favourite things that I own. I'll be using this every time I apply foundation. But it is the ultimate buffing brush. So nice. This would also be amazing for when I fake tan my face, I always put it on with a brush because I find it goes on so much better. I'm going to use this next time because it's like the softest brush ever. you have nothing on your skin and it leaves your skin just looking super dewy and just gives it like the tiniest little bit of coverage which i really really like when you just want to feel a little bit more put together so i'm going to pop on a tiny little bit of concealer i'm going to use the benefit boing concealer and this one is in shade number one brushes by the way come in a pack of three so you get this big one, a medium sized and also a little one. And the little one is brilliant for blending concealer. Then I'm also just gonna pop a little bit of this banana powder, which is in my Cali Contour palette by Smashbox. Love these two palettes, favorites ever. Um, I've got something in my eye. And as always, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I'm just gonna warm up my face a tiny bit with this. And for blusher, I'm going to use my favourite blusher in the whole world ever, which is my Cali Kissed Smashbox palette, and it's this one up here. And then for eyebrows, I'm going to use my Refi Beauty Brow Sculpt and also my little brow pencil too. Just found my long lost eyelash stuck to my sharpener. I actually blamed Teddy for stealing them, but he didn't at all. Just stuck to this. So as always, I'm going to use my Spice MAC Lip Liner. This is my favourite ever. And I like to just like line my lips and then rub it in. So it just kind of like, it's nothing too much. It's quite like, I can't explain it. It's quite blurred. Makeup is now done. I also just popped a little lash on the very corners of my eye. I always do this now. I think it makes such a difference. Just kind of like, I don't know, opens your eyes a little bit more. He's just creeping around, limping. Just you injured up. yourself. I just made it up the stairs. <gasps> oh my God, I remember my first run. 
It genuinely feels like my first ever run. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't go now. What do you mean that you never went? That was never in question. I know, I was <laughs> saying I was saying to everyone that I you're making me feel bad because you're going for a run. <laughs> so so this is what the cows look like when they come out of the clips. As you can see, they're like so much oh, yeah. <laughs> bigger than they're these. Beautiful. Thanks. I'm just growing mine so you can do mine. <laughs> so this is what my hair looks like before I brush it. You could totally leave it like this, but I prefer to have it like more brushed out, like blow dried kind of vibe. This is the satisfying part. Are you ready? So just teaching you how to brush your hair here. So as you brush through it, I find the more you brush it, obviously the fluffier it goes and if the curls are a little bit too much they do drop out i find like after you've had your hair like it for about half an hour they go really 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 lovely they're still super bouncy but they're a little bit softer curl just creates the most like bouncy soft blow dry any other b words i can use beautiful big curls bouncy I already said bouncy. Boo delicious. Yeah. His Bougie. Name. Bougie. Bountiful. Bountiful. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, um, I think we've exhausted all these. Off. And then, after I've brushed it all out and I'm happy with it, what I then do is I like to make it really, really, really big. What I do is take sections and I just give them a little bit of a back comb with the same brush. So my loves, that is my hair all finished. As you can see, you can make it so, so big. Like I said, in about half an hour, it will drop slightly, but you'll still have all of the volume. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So my loves, I have a very, very, very exciting, important job to get done today. It's the first thing on my to-do list and that is to buy my giveaway prize. Um, I mentioned on my story a few weeks ago now that I was going to be doing a designer bag giveaway and I gave you guys a few choices of which bag you would like to win and I'm just about to find the bag that you guys chose. I'm hoping it's still available. The one I wanted to get, let me show you the one that I really wanted to buy. Sorry if you can hear a lot of splashing. <laughs> Jamie's just in the shower, which is literally just there. Um, so the bag I really, really wanted to get, just because I feel like it's so good, it goes with everything, um, was this one. This one, but not in this colour. I wanted it in the original Louis pattern. I wanted one in this kind of pattern because I feel like that's a really just nice everyday bag. But I gave you guys a choice between this Vuitton bum bag because I feel like that one is so popular or this one which also has the long strap across it so you can wear it as a body bag but also it's a bit more I feel like this one down here is a little bit more dressy and you could wear it to lots more occasions. Yeah I'm going to purchase the bag today which is so exciting and then it should be obviously here this week and then I'm going to be popping all of the giveaway details on my Instagram so keep an eye on my Instagram story. Yeah I mentioned before I just wanted to do a really really special giveaway just to say a huge thank you to all of you for just being the best friends I could ever wish for. I'm thinking of doing these types of giveaways potentially every few months because I just think that would be a really nice thing to do um, and you guys can let me know your favourite design items at the time and then every few months I can get one and do a big giveaway. So yeah keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram, I'll pop it on screen now for the giveaway details. Oh my god I just found the nicest one ever. How gorgeous is this one? That is so so nice. <gasps> Should I get that one? I feel like I kind of want something in this pattern though. I do love that. That is very beautiful. I've actually got one of these and it's so roomy inside. They look like they're really small, but they have so much room inside, like you can fit so much in there. 
I found it. I found it. I found the bag, which is going to be the giveaway prize. So I am going to go for this one. I think this one's slightly smaller, but I kind of prefer a bit of a bigger bag. So this is the one that I am going to purchase. I'm so excited. Right, let me add this to my shopping bag. This is very, very exciting. Let me fill out all of my details i'm so excited i literally cannot wait for one of you to win this like how exciting i oh, i can't wait i hope that didn't get me in there <laughs> literally in the background like that you before. did you guys just get a naked view of jamie i don't know go back there i'll see if you can see you you can see your shoulder. I'm literally naked. <laughs> Better not have been able to see. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, my loves, it's all done. Let me show you. Here it is. I'm so excited. So I just checked and it said that it would take five to seven working days. So I'm hoping it'll be here next week. Um, but if for any reason it's a little bit later, I'll keep you updated on Instagram anyway. So my loves, it's now time for the Jamie takeover apparently because he's going to take you to the shop with him. Um, I have been summoned to go out for an hour in a little while. It's currently almost three o'clock and he's going to start setting up in a few hours. So I'm going to go out for an hour. Right, so Gemma has trusted me and handed over the vlog. What she knows so far is gonna be outside not great because uh, it started raining <laughs> I waited until the very last second as well to get the stuff and uh, I'm still waiting on one thing to arrive anyway it's not gonna rain it's gonna clear up Just put the window wipers on. I'm on my way out to get the rest of the bits that we need and uh, yeah I'm just gonna hope that the rain stops Let's see. Right, so, here we go. Just completed the shopping trip. And the good news is, it's not raining. Bad news is, I just got blown away out there. I think it's gonna be a hurricane or something. <laughs> That's my plans down the drain. I wonder if she's got any idea what it is yet. It's quite cold out there as well, like it's, I've planned it and it's all outside and it's pretty cold. <laughs> She's gonna have to, do you know what though? I've got something to counter that, but is it gonna be good enough? I'm gonna have to find out. This is like make or break. It's either gonna work or be a massive flop. Like, so yeah, things are gonna fly everywhere. One of the things I've got, <laughs> could turn into a massive sale and uh, just fly off to the next door neighbours, who knows? Next door neighbour, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do it, like you can tell from this, it wasn't a plan. Do you know what, I went for a run today as well and I feel on top of the world. <laughs> just trying to drive as well. where I ran earlier. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm pretty impressed with myself. 25 minutes to run two and a half miles. I mean, it's not great, but considering I've not done any car, I've just sat on a seat for the past like three months, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Well, I've been gone. <laughs> I've been gone for about, <laughs> about an hour. <laughs> I've only got a few little bits. Gemma's gonna wonder where the hell I am. Here we go. I'm gonna have to tell Gemma to vacate the area. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting 
But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Gemma's just pulled up, so let's go get up. Right, I don't know if I'm gonna be in trouble because the house is a mess, or she's gonna be happy, but let's find out. You alright? Whoa. Watch out for the cats. It smells like fire. Oh, does it? Okay. I hope Back you've all had a nice quality. time. <laughs> I'm nervous. Right. It smells like fire. I'll set the scene for you guys. It smells like pure fire. I've had to take my coat off so it didn't stink. Oh, I thought you were going to say you set yourself this. on fire or something. Uh, no. <laughs> I had to take my coat off because I set myself on fire. <laughs> oh, look at these two. Yeah. Right, you ready? They're not part of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's turn the lights off. What's that? Is that, is that a... Oh my god. What have we got here then? Oh my god, it's so cute. Shall I, uh, shall I shed some light on the occasion? Oh my god. Check that all out. Has everyone seen it? Yeah, let's see me putting it up. Oh my god, it I looks... It I, look at the lights. The projector, oh my god. It looks amazing. I did not expect this. I don't know what I thought. I thought you were just maybe going to do a barbecue or something. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, look at this. You got the giant marshmallows. Thank you, Baba. That's okay. I love it so that much. That little blankets on there as well, look. But it should be fine because we've got loads of heat. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. Ever? Literally ever. <laughs> look at the... Oh, look. Can we use that inside as well? Yeah, we can use it wherever we want. I've got one that you can get a power supply for as well, so you can take it wherever. In our oh. tent on the beach? Exactly. It's got sound in it as well, speakers. Oh my goodness, this is literally... The best thing ever. I love it so much. Look at the fire pit. So I've downloaded a thing called Yield. Yield. It's about murderers in the woods. Wow. <laughs> it looks, oh my god, look how cosy and cute it looks. Oh my goodness. Look at it from inside. Is he not the cutest person ever? I actually feel a little bit speechless because... This is by far the cutest thing that anyone has ever done for me. I've just been upstairs and put a nice warm hat on because it's freezing out here tonight. But that being said, <laughs> we've, got we've got a gigantic fire which is currently spitting bits of fire off. So, I mean, if a piece of fire lands on me, at least I'll be warm. Okay, okay. I've got a this is so cosy. So cute. We've got little sausages on the barbecue. Fire. Film. These fairy lights are lovely. I love those. I've got some popcorn. What are these? Lime salsa? Yeah, I thought you'd like those. They look so nice. You know I love a bit of lime. Oh, a lovely bottle of Prosecco. These marshmallows are the best. If you ever want toasted marshmallows, try and find these gigantic ones. They're so, so yummy. Like they go super crispy, but still really squidgy in the middle. Here he goes. Oh, we have to Oh, come on. <laughs> Should have shook it up so I had a little bit of assistance. Hey. Here you go, my darling. Thank you, darling. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Ooh. This is the cutest night ever. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. What an amazing idea. 
melted cheese and sausage hot this, dogs. This is the thing. You've been saying you wanted hot dogs for ages. Is that what inspired you? No, I just thought it was like these look open air cinema. Oh, hot dogs. Why are you so cute? These Popcorn. look unreal. <gasps> Yum. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my They are looking so, so similar now. Sometimes when they're both just laid on the floor, I do wonder which is which. Teddy is gonna be, I feel like, the world's biggest cat ever because he is just growing so quickly. He's also, wow, oh my God. Tilly, you're a gymnast. That was a big jump. She gets kind of fuming because this is what happens most mornings. Teddy is just as obsessed with the tap as Tilly is, and he bites her feet. And over there she goes. It's all right, Tilly, he won't be this annoying forever, I promise. Good morning, my loves. Happy Tuesday. So, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday. Oh, just one of the cats shitting. Would it really be a morning vlog if there just wasn't someone shitting in the background? No, it wouldn't. Honestly, every single time I turn on the camera, one of them's like, do you know what? I need to go to my litter tray now. So I am currently on, I'm very embarrassed to admit, my third coffee of the morning and it's only half ten. It's one of those mornings I just need all the, all the caffeine I can get my little hands on. So my original plan was actually to vlog yesterday and I was going to do a big deep clean but I just had one of those days yesterday where I just was lacking a lot of motivation. I had many breakdowns and yeah, it just wasn't really a great day. But yeah, the past few weeks, I just really haven't had, oh, hello, any motivation to just clean. And that's really not like me. So that makes me sad. Um, but today is, <laughs> it's a new day and I am determined to get everything done today because, wow, Teddy, here you go then, you can have it on the floor. Go on then, off he goes. So yeah, today I'm just determined to have motivation and just get everything done. I really, I just need to do it, it has to be done, hence the three coffees. But you guys have actually helped me out so much because I feel like I'm just a bit bored of my cleaning routine. I feel like I do the same thing every time I clean and I wanna mix it up a little bit. So I asked you on Instagram yesterday for your like favorite cleaning hacks and honestly, you guys have changed my life. You have so many good cleaning hacks and I'm actually really excited to try some of them. So I literally have all of these today which I can go through and try them. I'm very excited. So yeah, today is a get shit done day and I know that I'm gonna feel good at the end of it. So first things first, I need to make myself a cleaning list. I can't function without a list in just everyday life, especially when I'm cleaning um, because I will kind of forget what I need to do and I just find it really, really keeps me on track. So I'm gonna make myself a list of things that I want to get done today because it's just the most satisfying thing ever when you can tick them off. I also at some point, probably not today because I'm planning on spending all day cleaning today. Um, it's one of those, feel like I just need the whole day devoted to cleaning. Um, but I've got some very, very bright bananas 
chilling over here on the toast which i need to make a banana bread out of because i hate wasting ripe bananas and banana bread's unreal so i'm gonna make that probably later on this week but it's time to stop rambling and i'm gonna make myself a list and then i'll show you guys what i've got on my list for today okay this is <laughs> teddy is clearly very interested in my cleaning list so this is my cleaning list for today i couldn't find my um hinching book anywhere which made me sad and it just doesn't feel the same first thing i need to do is of course wash in i always 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 start my cleaning days with washing just because i like to put it on at the beginning and then i find like a few hours later you can then hang it out and it just it feels like a big job done if that makes sense i've let the washing massively build up because i haven't done it in like a week so I'm going to start with the black washing today and then do like whites and towels and bedding and stuff like that. So I'm going to pop the washing in, then I'm going to go over all the sides with wipes. Before I start cleaning, I like to go over everything with wipes because I find with wipes you can really, you know, scrub anything off. So I'll go over all of the worktops, all of the windowsills, all of the cupboards, um, everything on here I'll move go over it with a wipe and then pop it back um these are the wipes i always use if you know you know if you have been here from the start of my youtube journey you will remember me cleaning my entire house with these um so these are the apple floor wipes from aldi they're huge and they're brilliant just to use a few just to go over all of the sides um so that's what i'll do first and then i need to clean the sink and fill it with Zoflora and then go over all of the sides and cupboards again with Zoflora just so it gives everything a really nice disinfect and it leaves the house smelling so nice. This is the current state of the utility room. Two cat houses closed from the weekend because they smell a fire. Hello fresh. All the washing, literally so, so much washing in here. We've got black washing here, then underneath that there's like coloured bits, then I've got white and cream there. Oh, a lot to do today so for my washing i'm going to be using these three products um i'm forever switching up what i use in my washing if i'm doing towels or bedding what i will do is pop a little bit of zoflora in there like two capfuls of zoflora in with your towels or bedding oh my god it makes such a difference and makes it smell so good seen that I've half done the hob so all I've actually done is pop some of the pink stuff on there and just really really buffed it in now I've left this to kind of do its thing for like 10 minutes I find if you have any stubborn kind of marks on your oven that's really really hard to get off and requires you doing a lot of scrubbing if you pop some of this on and leave it for a little while it literally will just lift off after it's soaked in so all I'm going to do now is take a minky and take the rough side and just go over this again just to make sure all of the stains have gone it was around this area there was loads of ones that were just literally welded on there i have no idea what it was but now they have literally just come off so after i've given it a good scrub i'm going to get some water on this side and just get rid of all the water wait for it to dry and then i'm going to buff it out with as always my white vinegar spray i use this on anything chrome anything glass anything that just needs a little bit of an extra shine i will always use this And then after my Zoflora water has been doing its thing for about 15 minutes and the water has cooled down, I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and just go over every single thing in the kitchen. So all of the cupboards, the oven hood, the fridge. I'll also do the radiator as well because every time the heating then comes on, the house will smell really, really lovely.
Okay, now it's time for my favorite little cloth in the whole world. And I spoke about this in my last cleaning video, but this will shine anything chrome. So like these, just give it the once over and everything becomes so much shinier. So if you've got a lot of chrome things in your house, would definitely recommend one of these. I will link these down below. But I usually just like to go over everything. So like any of these, I've got loads of little bits like this and like these bits on the kettle and the handles, parts of the oven. I'll just give everything a little, a little buff with this. Do you have any good mop recommendations? Um, I use this shark steam mop and it's good, but I find it, I don't get the satisfaction of like a normal mop, you know, when you like actually wet the floors because this is just steam. It kind of like lifts things off the floor, which is great. But I feel like I would like an additional mop to go over the floors first and just give them a real deep clean. Um, what I do with this is I pop a little bit of Zoflora in this water here. So it does still smell really, really lovely, but I just feel like I'd like a different mop. This is the Hoover that I always use, and it is the Dyson V11. I worked with Dyson last year, I believe, with this Hoover, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. Do you know what's really satisfying, but also really disgusting? It like, look how much blooming cat hair it collects. I never really realized how much Tilly and Teddy malt, but yeah. That is literally from the other day when I hoovered the carpets. So I'm just gonna go over the floor with this and just get rid of any kind of like little marks around the door over here where we had our little date night. There's some mud over here. So I would just like to go over here um, and just give the floor a real nice freshen up. the kitchen is feeling lovely and clean so the last thing that I like to do in the kitchen which is like a very important step to my cleaning routine is give everything fabric a spray with this so this is my favorite scent ever it's gold orchid it smells so like warm and vanilla-y and I'll literally spray this on everything fabric so I'll close the curtains and give them a good spray I'll also spray my faux flowers the chairs it is brilliant to remove any kind of smell so right now the house smells of fire because on Sunday we had a fire and I find whenever I've cooked something that is quite strong in scent like fajitas sometimes anything with a lot of spices in the house can smell like cooking for a few days so if you spray this after you've kind of done some cooking at the end of your cleaning routine it really really makes such a difference this actually eliminates odors instead of just kind of like masking them so yes would recommend this very very highly you can get this from pretty much anywhere and they've got so many different scents now I will use this on bedding on my mattress like when I strip the bed um, and obviously wash the bed in I'll I'll literally douse the mattress in this and it will smell so good also amazing to freshen up towels dressing gowns anything fabric best believe I shall be spraying it with this that is pretty much all of downstairs done which i'm so happy about i've just been choking on seven up if i sound really really weird i took a huge gulp 
of this and I just had a gigantic coughing fit so love that for me um next up I have bathrooms bathrooms is one of those things I hate cleaning so much I could very happily never clean a bathroom for the rest of my life and I'd be very happy about it um I think it's just because they're just hard to clean aren't they and oh, it's now just gone two o'clock so I've been doing this for like four hours now and I'm feeling good I still have a little bit of motivation left um haven't had any more coffee which is good kitchen is feeling lovely and fresh i've also like decluttered a little bit as well i find whenever the house just has a lot of stuff everywhere i find my mind gets so cluttered and i just feel a little bit overwhelmed so i've put a few bits away that i like had out over here like i did have my coffee syrups and stuff like that but i've decided to keep those in the cupboard because i just feel like this area looks too busy but yeah kitchen is done living room's done utility room is done all of the cat's bits have been cleaned and like hoovered and stuff like that um and the hallway is done so what i've got to do now is to be fair the office and the wardrobe room are absolutely fine they don't need doing today because i only did those on saturday but what does need doing is the bedroom just needs a little bit of a touch up like i need to just kind of like get rid of dust and give it a little polish give the bed a spray with my febreze and the two bathrooms two bathrooms upstairs need a big old clean today and also what i've decided to do as well just for ease so i feel like i could kind of whenever i'm cleaning i need to get in the zone and i need to almost like not look at my phone not have any distractions and just clean so what i'm gonna do is with all of your guys cleaning recommendations i'm gonna write them all down and then i think in the next few weeks i will do like a proper clean with me with a voiceover do every room in the house but i'll use your guys cleaning tips felt like that would be really nice to do so then i can get some new products as well and try all of your recommendations because they sound fab and i feel like today because i was lacking motivation anyway i just wanted to get it done and i found it easier just to do what i always do kind of thing so for the bathrooms i always use the same things i am like the most basic bathroom cleaner ever uh, if you have any tips feel free to leave them below so first of all i'm gonna use duck in all of the toilets love the pine one feel like mrs hinch um it just smells so like fresh i love it so i'll pop this in all of the toilets i also like to use this flash um i'll use this in the shower in the baths in the sinks actually one of your guys recommendations which i never usually do and i just thought it was brilliant was to spray everything in your bathroom and then leave it for 15 minutes before you scrub so kind of similar to what i did on the oven i'm gonna give that a go today um so i'm gonna blitz all of the shower bath toilets sinks leave them 15 minutes then go back and continue scrubbing um i also like to use the pink stuff you guys know i use this everywhere um and then i'm going to be using wipes my microfiber cloth also this on anything shiny i've got a lot of chrome in the bathroom so i'll be using this lots um my duster I've just got flying cats everywhere hello teddy and also going to fill the sinks up with so flora so that's kind of like how i clean the bathrooms i will film it but because the bathrooms are quite small i feel like it's really hard to show you but i'll talk you through it anyway have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be Thank you. 
a nice warm coffee and I'm just about to tackle the weekly food shop um, and I just wanted to come on and have a little chat with you and just kind of update you on how I am really feeling at the moment I just don't feel like me recently I don't feel like my normal self and I feel like I'm putting on a massive brave face when I'm filming and I, I don't like feeling like that I don't like pretending that I'm happy or pre like pretending that I'm feeling positive because at the moment I just don't like I I just don't I'd probably say for the past sort of like half a year creating content has been such an escape for me like having my YouTube channel and having you guys and being able to you know just have this amazing escape where even I when I'm filming I almost forget like the world that we're currently in and as much as it's an escape for me, I try so, so hard just to keep my channel so... I try to keep it so just fluffy is a good word. I try to never offend anyone, I try to never upset anyone. I want you guys to be able to come to my channel and go away from it feeling happy and uplifted and I want you guys to always have a place on the internet that you can come and just spend an hour of your time not talking about covid and not listening to someone moan about anything like I, I feel like that's what i've kind of tried to make my channel be and i think sometimes i just i don't know how to be happy at the moment and i know that sounds so ridiculous and you know what i get angry at myself for feeling like that because i have no real reason to feel like that i have such a good life and I'm so grateful for my life I'm so grateful for everything that I have I really truly am but sometimes I just feel this like wave of pure sadness <laughs> and I know that sounds literally so depressing um this is so hard to kind of like I know how I feel but it's so hard trying to explain how I feel so I hope this is all making sense and it's not just me sat here rambling um but yeah as much as it's a good thing to have my channel as an escape it's kind of got to the point where I just feel like I I need to just take a step back as sad as this sounds I just feel like I want to just shut myself away from everyone and just sit in silence in a dark room <laughs> No, but honestly, like I just, I I feel like I need to just not think about anything for a while and just really try and just get myself back to feeling like me. I want you guys to know that I don't talk about a lot of things in my life online because I am trying to learn how to deal with them, like... I feel like when my dad passed away last year I didn't really take the time that I probably should have taken because me being me I wanted to find something to take my mind off it and keep me busy and I feel like sometimes that kind of catches up with me and still to this day like it's been what like six months which is crazy I still forget that it even happened which is crazy and I still get that feeling of like oh I need to pop and see dad today and then I'm like shit like I just feel like I really I've burnt myself out in a way so so hard 
to know what the right thing is to do in this kind of situation like i've been feeling like this for a few weeks now where i kind of have more bad days than good and i just feel so anxious at the moment like every time i pick up the camera i have a bit of a lump in my throat and i just I feel like I almost can't get my words out and I'm so stuttery and that's not me like I feel like I'm usually so confident in front of the camera and I'm so like excited and just generally just a happy person but I don't I don't feel like that at the moment and I think this is my body's way of telling me that I just need to just take a little bit of a break and it's so hard knowing what the right thing is to do because there's a huge part of me that keeps going for you and like I can't even explain how much you guys have helped me just through so many situations that like you don't even know about like just in everyday life you help me so much um and I feel bad for missing an upload day and I like the thought of that makes me feel horrible inside the thought of me like letting you guys down on an upload day long ramble short i feel like i just need a little bit of time i know you guys will understand because you are just the most understanding amazing people ever um but i just need a little bit of time just to get back to feeling like me um and i think because i'm constantly filling my time and constantly creating content and my mind is always on that i never really have a chance to just think about how I'm feeling and check in with myself and I, I think that's so important. I spend so much of my time online that sometimes it can be unhealthy because it's equally so important to not spend all of your time online if that makes sense and just kind of like ground yourself and yeah I just I just feel like I need a bit of time. I don't ever want to pretend that I'm happy online and I feel like for the past few weeks that's what I've been doing. I've been pretending that I am like super happy where in reality I need to almost like face these things that are making me a little bit sad at the moment and deal with them and then I can get back to being me. Bottom line is I just want you guys to know that if you are feeling any kind of way it's so normal and the last thing I would ever 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 want is for you to watch someone online whether it be me, whether it be anyone, and think that they are never sad and they never have down days and they never feel like crap because they do. It's because YouTube is my job, I know the reality of it and I know that it's not always as easy as some people would see. Um, sometimes it's super hard to almost... I think the saddest thing ever is that people who put themselves online these days get so much stick for it and the only answer for like online hate is you put yourself out there so you should you should kind of like deal with it and i think sometimes it's just it's so hard you almost get to a point where you feel like everyone is just taking their frustration out on you and you feel almost like you can't do anything right. And I think that's why I have changed so much recently because I constantly feel like I, I'm so on edge that I never want to offend anyone and I never want to upset anyone and it's just turned me into this like anxious mess basically anyway my loves i am gonna go and tackle the weekly food shop thank you so much for listening to me and thank you for just being you being amazing for always supporting me and i'm sorry that i'm gonna miss a few upload days but i will be back really really soon and i'm excited to catch up with you guys then when i'm in just a little bit of a better place mentally i just don't feel great right now and i'm excited to feel better and i'm excited to come back and just chat to you like normal and yeah i'm excited for that day so thank you all so much for listening i love you all so much i really hope you enjoyed the rest of this vlog um and i'm sending all my love to you as always and if any of you are feeling the same as me i'm sending an extra little bit of love love you guys so much and i'll catch up with you really really soon bye you have to be your biggest fan
And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you are.